for motivating the world here, people, on the Untitled Action Bronson Show. Go ahead, pop it off. Night on the Untitled Action Bronson Show. John Basedow! Oh. 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 Hannah Brosnan! You know that I got a tattoo on my head 10 years ago. Are you serious? I'm a fucking biter. I'm biting you. Chef Josh Capon. You want it? You got it! Ah! Scarlet yes, Seal Square yes. Band! Phenomenal men of Jane Moto. Garrett and Sam. Up Mountain Switcher. I hope you like that, man. It's ridiculous. Dance Soul Entertainment Cabaret Dancers. What is this? I raised your mignonette. I raised your mignonette with a little wasabi leaf and lemon. Mm. Oh, come on. Say it. Oh, fuck, say that's it. delicious. I'll be saying that a lot today. That's crazy. That right You're now. a fucking shucking animal. This is Chef Josh Capon, everybody. What are you doing, everybody? Nice to see you. Shouts to the fan who caught my sweaty towel. <laughs> what the hell is this now? Kushi oyster, a little jalapeno bronzu. Mmm. It's like the new and improved Kumamoto. Is it a Kumamoto. better Kumamoto than think, the Kumamoto? Yeah. Did you ever shuck an oyster before? Mm-hmm. What are we going to get in the f***ing eye over there? Oh, uh, yeah. Going in the back door, right? That's what it's you about. Pop, little we'll pop. There you go. Get there. Ah! Oh, pop it. Pop it. There it is. Yeah, there it is. There you go. Come on, the guy's a freaking pro. Come on, man. I know a couple things. I know how to remove asbestos. I know how to mix concrete. And I know how to shuck a f***ing oyster. Little, pick your sauce. Boom. Oh. All day long. I brought you a little something, by the way, for another day. I brought you a very special oyster shucker knife. Are you kidding me? It might look like a dagger. I thought that was a switchblade. I do want one shot. When I saw you and White on the show, yeah. and you guys were throwing knives. It was that, no good. Not one, no good. It no. was dull. He didn't have, it was not even sharp. Back here. Just let it go. And just let it go. Not one person got the knife. Hey, watch out, watch out. Watch that wall above the drummer. That's way too far. <laughs> Did you really think I would throw a dagger at you like that? The, dr the drummer told it was like, I'm out of here. You wear white underwear? Hell no. What is the point of oh. white underwear? And I just why switched, do they even make the color white underwear? I just switched underwear? from boxers to actual boxer briefs. They're a lot nicer. You know why? Because we got big thighs. All of a sudden, no more shaping. It's How do you amazing. know what kind of thigh I got? Please. Did you see what I got here? You know what that is? What the f is that? That looks like a little crab. It's a baby crab. Oh, shit. Flew out of his underwear. Yeah. Yo, Alchemist, what's yeah. good, baby? I think there is nothing better to start a meal with wherever the hell you are, especially at Lower Fish Bar in New York City in Soho on the corner of Prince and Mercer. It's Boom! Should shit. I plug that? Nothing better than chilled shellfish. I think, I think it's just a glorious way to start a meal. We got some jumbo shrimp cocktail up top, right? Make sure you poach your shrimp and aromatics, right? Not yeah. just water. You want salt, lemons, bay leaves, peppercorns, onions, right? Yeah, it looks beautiful, it's festive. We're gonna serve it to everybody. Everybody! Come on, get the log, get the sauce in there. Where's the drummer that I threatened? Get in there, let's go, grab a claw, grab a shrimp, what's the problem? How you doing, you all right? Good, man, you? We got the phenomenal men of Jane Moto in Brooklyn. You know? They're over here gonna be working on a bike. They're gonna be souping up this bike. They're gonna be putting turbo and NAS on my shit. We can put whatever the f you want. Training wheels and a Hayabusa engine. Don't try and f look up my shorts. <laughs> you, this is like the White Clef picture. Yo, my nuts are literally disintegrated. But you look good, and that's really all that matters. My nuts. I've already had two children. They don't have to do anything else for the rest of my life. <laughs> you f capture this essence? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Beautiful. What does this run? 50 grand. Lifetime warranty? No. Perfect. We'll take it. <laughs> Chris. For sure. They, they need yeah. to buy that for you. Hannah Brosman, everybody! How are you doing? Good. Long good? time. 
been all right? Yeah, Good you. To see you. Thanks to see you, too. Yeah, you Look at this. Yeah. This There's looks amazing. Ca- There's all kinds Thank of seafood here. Thank you, doll. Here. Well, this is healthy, right? This is healthy. Come on. For the most part. This is protein and fat, which is great. I've had an issue behind the knee. Oh. You know, and I constantly get the thing. Do you get re- reflexology? Yes. I live by it. I like to go into the little <laughs> massage chairs at the airport. Well, there's a car wash in Queens called Savvy. And Savvy, while you're waiting, you could get a massage in the chair for $1.50. And it's one of the best massages I've ever had in my life. What is HB Fit, Hannah? Is this your ting? Yeah, um, HB Fit is health, beauty, fitness. We're a media company, and we do, like, all original content. We're about that life, you know what I mean? All your photos are very curatedly and very beautifully curated, excuse me. You always have the leg up. You're so happy and everything. It's, like, beautiful. How do I become this happy? So I feel like a part of it is genetics, but a part of it is also doing small things that can implement better habits into your life to overall achieve, like, you know, a better well-being. You heard that. It is genetics. Not everyone can be beautiful. No. But everyone can be healthy. (laughs) I literally came into this world and happy was one of my first words I ever said. I said bagel, and that's the truth. Also, I'm just noticing you have a head tap. Yeah, this is new. You know that I got a tattoo on my head 10 years ago. Are you serious? I'm a biter. I'm biting you. I have a dragon that goes down the entire right side of my head. You can kind of see the bottom of it here. Ah, yeah. See? It's one thing to have a blasted tattoo on your head, but to have some elegance and shape to where the tail goes behind the (laughs) ear and just makes this form. You're yeah. gonna eat hamburgers? I'll eat hamburgers. Do uh, we know where the meat is from? Is the it... meat is from Pat LaFrida, oh, the oh, only oh, one that he oh. f- These are questions that people should ask when Absolutely. eating meat, yes. right? We need to be responsible for what we put in our body. Yes, we right? do. You should be buying your meat from a, a reputable butcher, someone that you build a rapport with, someone that you build a friendship with. You could ask him for the off cuts. You could ask him for the weird things. There's only two cheeks on an animal. Who's gonna get those cheeks? The nice person, remember that. <laughs> I have to take a piss, I'll be right back. John, good face now. How are you? Hug me. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Camera. John, an idol of mine is here. Does everybody know about fitness made simple from John Bass now? He's here. I need this room to be filled Hold with hands. some motivation. Hold hands, people. It's the gospel of wake-up words here. Here we go. Power. Action Bronson show. Acting crazy. Anna. Uh-oh. I brought Wait. a fitness guru oh of my, my own. Oh, my goodness. Wow. He's literally somebody that I've looked up to for years. This is John Bass now, everybody. Make some noise! Make some noise! Make some noise! This is phenomenal. Fitness made simple, John Bass now. This is like a Bible for many people. It's you don't family. even understand. We're not, I love you in real life, man. I, I can't even understand what's going on right Give me now. A hug, man. Yeah, please. Can, can we just all work out together, please? Uh-oh. What the hell is that? <laughs> you came through with the next it's level of technology. Bad. I wouldn't expect anything different from you, John Bass now. <laughs> I'm ready to do anything you need. Let's do some moves. We're just gonna do some curls, okay? Keep it moving. This is lightweight, man. I used to do 80s. <laughs> I say You're a lot of good. used to do's because this was I was on you steroids when I was 24. I was gonna say, and I think it's so that's a big misconception I was because up. used to, if you were to do that now, you'd injure yourself and then you wouldn't be able to do anything. My mom, because I'm always like running around doing stuff, likes to go to a buffet with me alone, sit and catch up on a lot of stuff. That's beautiful. So what I do when I go to a buffet, the first thing I do is load up on everything chocolate, because that's what I love. Eat like that, and I just screw everybody. Screw screw everybody's mind. You want to know why? Tell me. Okay. Tell them. Okay. No, I was going to say, I was going to 
thing. Scientifically, it's been shown <laughs> that if you satisfy what I call the foodgasm, when you're craving something like you really want chocolate so badly and you just want a taste of that chocolate, you get no greater pleasure sensation, no greater release of dopamine or anything like that after the first two to three bites of it. You're just finishing that piece of cake or finishing the brownie because you were taught to finish the brownie. So what I do is when I go to a buffet, I'll have a bite or two of what I'm craving, satisfy that foodgasm, and then fill up on the clean stuff. Mm. Yeah, also, when you, eat, when you eat something wow. sweet, it sends a signal to your brain that their meal period is over and cuts off your taste buds. And why do you think sugar-free gum is the best thing to have so even have one stick at the end of a meal because what? it makes food distasteful after that? Hello? Can we uh -oh. please put this on? Is it on? It will be in a second. OK. I need this room to be filled with some motivation. Uh-oh. You know what? Hold on one second. Chris, grab like 10 people. I want them to be motivated right now. I'm serious. Hey, guys, listen. I need 10 people that want to be motivated right now. You want to be motivated? Come through and get motivated. Come on, come, please. Come on, guys. I have plenty of food in there. Come through. Come on, come on. Perfect. Yeah, we're going to work out and be motivated right now. Can we stand around here? Like, stand around, John. We're motivating the world here, people, on the Untitled Action Bronson Show. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to hustle hard. You've got to focus on your goals. Focus is so important. Don't get hands. distracted from different things. Can we all interlock Hold hands? Hold hands. Hold hands, people. It's the gospel of wake-up words here. There you go. Hold hands and up like my buddy Action Bronson right there. And we are going to teach you hard so that you can hustle and grind till you no longer have to be introduced. That's the goal. And anything that you believe, anything that you dream, you can achieve. Just believe in yourself, make it come true. Come in. Hear a hallelujah. Come there you go. Yeah. Holla. Yeah. On the Action Bronson Show. Yes. Oh, my. Holla. Much love and respect. We have questions. Can we raise hands? Anyone have a question? You. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> this is an amazing moment because for years I was told you died in the tsunami. Oh my god. And the rumor was your abs stopped the tsunami. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear that part. That's what I was told <laughs> here, for years. There was a news release created that said I was body surfing and <laughs> windsurfing and playing volleyball competitively in Thailand. This is not true. I have never been to Thailand. It is a big trip for me to go to New Jersey. But every radio show and TV show ask me, they go, what would you do if you found that person who created that rumor about you? They said, would you kill them? Would you just beat the crap out of them? And I said, oh no, I'd make them my publicist. Because that person didn't get a freaking dime to do that. God bless you. You have a job when you want it. Josh is about to make some, some burgers. Uh oh. Here we Are you go. ready for a burger? I'm getting nervous. I'm right. starving. All right. I got <laughs> yes! You gotta get a shot of this. Come on. That's what a burger cooked in its own fat looks like. That's what it looks like. Ah, ah. This is fitness made simple. We got 50 Lafrida burgers. There you go. Six-time award-winning Bash Burger from Burger and Barrel. Is this your own blend? Yes. This is your blend that won the f championship. k Fod blend. Now, can you reveal? Right. Can you reveal what's in the blend? It's the same as everybody else's. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, okay. Chuck short rib and brisket, right? Kosher salt, black pepper, right? Nice hot plancha, right? A burger should cook in its own fat. Nothing wrong with barbecuing in the backyard, but all that fat trips where? Into the fire. Let that baby cook in its own fat, right? Watch this. Everybody be quiet. You ready? Listen. Lackluster. If you don't hear that, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it sounds from that's that's the view. That's a beautiful symphony oh, right there. I'm gonna show you a little trick. It's top <laughs> secret. Top secret. So are you coating oh, mustard on one side? One side. Whoa. Whoa. Mind blown. He's f based in the burger with Dijon mustard. Secret weapon. Bacon on your jammy jam. Oh. You good? <laughs> you gotta get a shot of this. Come on. That's what a burger. It's own fat. Wow. But that's, that's what, what a burger, burger cooked in its own fat looks like. That's what it looks like. Ah, ah. <laughs> Caramelization, just like a steak. One slice of American cheese on each of those bad boys, please. Oh my god, you wait, you put that olive oil garlic situation oh, on the top. This smells bigger, bigger, insane. Bigger, bigger. 
It's rosemary garlic tater tots. Let's go. Five pickles. Ready? Four or five. On, only on these. Only on these. One nice spoonful. Like that. Bacon onion jam. Perfect. These are the award winners, right? This is it, baby. Uh-oh. All right, you ready for it? No, you're not cutting it, are you? You won the championship cutting the burger? Every sandwich should be cut in half. What? You got to admire the layering of every sandwich before you eat it. Watch this. That's good. Oh, you for it. Yo, foring it, though, yeah. is actually the best. That is the money bite. <laughs> that is the money bite. Ready? Mm. Is this a new pan you're producing? Who's, who's giving out my gifts? The f 8 inch fry pan, the Josh K Pond signature collection. Yeah, but I brought you really something, something special. Oh, you got it for me! Oh, you want it, you got it! Ah. Square pad! You Drop see this right here? Square pad! Three in the morning, infomercials. You see this guy screaming at the television to use this pen. He got me. There it is. I'm using it. Another Thank drink. you. Another drink comes at 3 o'clock in the morning. Can you please put that on the wall? If you have a taste of the burger, come on down. That's awesome. Boom. Oh, we got the sacks in the house. I don't cut. You never cut. You look what you're oh, doing. Bend your fingers. Hold them both sides. Watch what I do. OK. This is so f good. Garrett and Sam, everybody. What up, Ashton? Up Mountain Switchel. What's up, man? So you know what Switchel is? Yes. All no, right. I'm lying. Tell me what it All is. All right, so old Vermont farm drink. They used to make it during hay season, so super hot and dry. They'd mix up something with ginger, apple cider vinegar, maple syrup, and water. It's kind of like the first sports drink. Like Gatorade. Yeah, exactly. Let's, let's run down some of the properties. Ginger roll. Oh, ginger roll. Excuse You've me. got it. Ginger. Circulation. Anti-inflammatory. Anti-inflammatory. Yeah, pro-digestion. Yeah. Action, I read your book, and I saw Did that. Did you lose brain cells? No. <laughs> I loved it. Right, so good. I saw that uh, one of your favorite drinks was strawberry mint. And I see that you have all the concoction. Yeah, I actually got a cold one right here Whoa. that I wanted to label up. Let's do it. So this is fresh strawberries, peppermint tea. I hope you like that, man. It's ridiculous. All right. This tastes phenomenal. Like a chocolate-covered an Andes covered strawberry in the <laughs> best because I love both of those things. Yeah, yeah. this Taste is the that. strawberry mint That's flavor. Like a strawberry mint. It's lemonade. the action flavor. We're calling it the Easy Rider. What oh, do you think about shit. that? Oh, wow. I like that idea. It's a brand new carbonated swizzle. You have a shotgun to switch them? Yeah. You want to do one? Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Try it. Do it, 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 do it. Has anybody ever shotgun to switch them before? Yeah, I have. I would say it was a long time since I shotgun the beer, but. Go ahead, pop it. Yeah, you got this. Happy holidays, everybody. You're going to be so healthy, man. Somebody YouTube this? Hello. That's a win. Hey, Action. Yeah. Thanks for having me on your show, buddy. Your problem. This is amazing. Yeah, yeah, I man. gotta tell you, what an incredible experience it is to come on the Action Bronson show. This is how it goes, man. I made it, I tell you, I made it. HB Fit did a collaboration with Jars by Danny, and we brought you some of our new collab. You're gonna freak out about this. Oh, I'm gonna demo that looks delicious. a key ingredient, which is avocado chocolate mousse, which is one of like oh. my favorite, favorite easy desserts. Actually, can I borrow some of your delicious Vermont maple syrup? Avocado for this? is good fat, right? Am I wrong? Avocado is great fat. Yeah, fat. thank you. That is a layer of gluten-free cake, avocado chocolate mousse, mm. coconut whipped cream, and then gluten-free, dairy-free cookies. Cookie dough bites. Mm. So it's really crazy. See, I had a feeling you were gonna love ridiculous. it. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is amazing. I only have three words for this. That's delicious. The jars are gone. They are. Good. I have to fill them up with weed now. <laughs> really delicious. I got. I got one question. I got one question. The other day I was doing sit-ups with my trainer. Oh me? And he says to me, he says, "You're gonna have a six-pack by the summertime." Uh, turning it, turning a keg into a six-pack. It's never gonna happen. But something tells me that you got some kind of rig going under that. To thing. see, to see. Oh, oh, oh. But oh, oh, that's what oh, kind of concoction. Oh, Dance Soul Entertainment Cabaret Dancers. Here they are, everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's back. The hell out of here. Did she go 
Phenomenal. Let me ask you something. How many different dances do you do? You do roller dances, you do you do gypsy dancing. What else Adam? What else do you do? Flamenco, fire, roller, ice skating, figure skating. Goodness gracious. I, do, I mean, I love salsa. Do you guys want a salsa? Do you want a salsa? Hold on, hold on. John. John. What? Come on. You want to show me how to salsa? She wants to you, teach you how to salsa right you now. You show me how to salsa, yes. With a pro, I, I'm, I'm salsa dancing. No, I've never, I've never, I have not professionally trained in the dancing. Much love and respect. And it's like a one, two, three, so. She's the best teacher in the world. You have the most batshit crazy show in the best way. <laughs> Thank you to Hannah Brothman. Thank you to John Vastow. Thank you, Josh Capon. Thank you, mother <laughs> switchels. <laughs> Jane Moto, Brooklyn, the Special Victims Unit, dancers, tremendous job cabaret dancing. Much love and respect. Much love and respect. There you go. Much love and respect. Wow, that's the best sign off ever. Much love and respect. This is the Untitled Action Bronson Show, and I love every mother body. Remember that.